Ladies and gentlemen, Copper Box Arena is absolutely rocking as we are ready for our main event of the evening. Five five-minute rounds for the Brave Combat Federation Featherweight Championship of the World. Your judges for this contest are Ben Cartledge, Mark Collette, and Clemens Werner. And our referee is Mark Goddard. Ladies and gentlemen, before we begin, I have one question for you, and one question only. Are you ready? Let's meet our first warrior for the Brave Combat Federation Featherweight Championship of the World. Fighting out of the blue corner, this man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 20 wins and four losses. He stands 183 centimeters tall and weighs already 65.8 kilograms, representing Capital da Luta Gym and fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. Give it up for the challenger, Lucas Mineiro Martins. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man's a mixed martial artist with a professional record of 13 wins and four losses. He stands 170 centimeters tall and weighs already 65.6 kilograms. Representing Impact Jiu-Jitsu, Salem, Oregon, and Black House MMA in Los Angeles, California, USA. Give it up for the reigning, defending, undisputed Brave Combat Federation Featherweight Champion of the World, Baba, I'm a bad man, Jenkins. For referee instructions, Mark Goddard. Lucas, Bobby, you know exactly what I expect. I need you to fight hard, I want you to fight clean. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch, do it now. God bless. Gentlemen, this is going to be insane. The featherweight world title is on the line. Bubba Jenkins, your defending champion, taking on the challenger, Lucas Martin. Martin is in the white and black. Bubba Jenkins is in the red and black. The referee is Mr. Mark Goddard. This is a main event fitted and suitable for such a prestigious night in mixed martial arts. We are underway. He's been here with that classic Thai style standing quite straight hand high. This looks like he's about to load a leg kick. There it is. That, that's the first signal of intent. And Muay Thai's lie light on the front foot. But his, his light, subtle footwork, how he gets in on his opponents, is what really gets Lucas Minero. Yeah. In there, he's, he's lighting up the lead leg. Bubba is just smiling at him. He's waiting to explode and change levels here. Oh, Bubba Jenkins on the right hand and into the takedown. Bubba Jenkins, the absolute rascal with the flying knee. Looking at high crotch here, and are we going to go to Slam City? Because your mayor, as we know, is Bubba Jenkins. He's in on a single right now. He needs to. Do we need to be careful? Minero maybe trying to set up a Darcy Barabu choke. And that, that is. That is a danger, but so far, good defense by Martin's here up against the cage. But normally when Bubba Jenkins could to get the hold of a leg and is in on a takedown, it normally results in you on the match. Looking for it, the choke. Oh, beautiful transitional work from Bubba Jenkins. He was aware of the threat and uses it to his advantage to score the takedown. Bubba Jenkins trained for years at Black House MMA. He's been in every conceivable submission. It'll take more than that to beat him. And this is what Bubba Jenkins does so well. In every aspect of the transitions of grappling, he will always land shots punishing you. Your tax that you have to pay when you're trying to stand up is them four-inch goals hitting you in the gym. 
And what he does so expertly is he keeps himself active, he keeps himself honest there. Pop, pop with the shots, and they're not necessarily shots that go to knock you out, but it's the cumulative effect of what he's doing. It's distraction, it's misdirection. He's just dropping wrist. Monero looking maybe to step over and take the back there. So far, it's Bubba Jenkins pulling away the right wrist of Lucas Monero. But almost trolling on me. You see it, it's akin to how Habib Nurmagomedov fights and pulls the wrist from his opponents and allows him to control. Big shot by Bubba, heavy ground and pound. Like I say, he just he, he maintains the clinch, pop pop with the shots, fight to the clinch. Oh, these are beautiful uppercuts. Beautiful work and short, dirty uppercuts in the grappling exchanges here. And this is where Lucas had said, Yeah, his wrestling's okay, he's not going to get me down. We didn't have to wait long. These are punches, oh, just punches. Oh, the uppercut there. Lucas Burns is coming. Oh, my God. Champion of the world, Baba, I'm a man.